During July of 2015, I was fortunate enough to spend a week at Michael Palmer's apiaries in Vermont. Mike's apiaries are situated around Lake Champlain and the Champlain Valley, right up next to the Canadian border. I was able to see and help in many aspects of beekeeping. This time of year, between the end of cell building and the start of the goldenrod flow, is the perfect time to requeen colonies where deemed necessary. Generally speaking, there are two ways of getting a new queen accepted in a colony. The first method is the three-hole cage or cage with a candy plug method. When a queen has, all, has been absent from a colony for more than, say, four days, the remaining queen pheromone has disappeared. For this, a three-hole cage is ideal. The candy plug at each end of the cage is eaten through by the bees and over the following 24 to 48 hours the queen is released. Nurse bees will also start feeding her through the outside of the cage. Queen pheromone is spread around the colony and generally she's accepted and starts to lay. The biggest problem arises when you change queens or substitute a queen one for another. Often a new queen, immediately on harvest and being placed in a cage for transport, stops laying and within a day or so she's reduced in size. If you substitute this non-laying queen into a hive that's previously just had a laying queen, there are issues and often the queen is bald or rejected. So how can you avoid this? How can you get acceptance quickly, which is essential in the spring and summer months? So the only answer is to use a pushing cage. This is method two. This cage temporarily separates the new queen from the rest of the colony and the cage she is under is placed on emerging brood and nectar stores that will emerge over the next three to four days. The bees, in turn, when they're born, only know her and they love her and care for her and feed her and suddenly the queen begins to lay. After a while, the bees also feed her from the outside of the cage and that's the existing bees in the colony. They then, in turn, spread their pheromone around the colony. On day four, the cage can be lifted and if all is well, the, the queen will just walk off and have no bother at all and she'll carry on laying throughout the colony. But if the bees are aggressive towards her, she'll be re rejected and it's likely that there's another queen or a virgin queen somewhere in the colony that hasn't been found or emerged when you put the cage in. When requeening, the most important thing you need to do is find the old queen. This is often easier said than done. Sometimes you can lift out the first frame of brood and straight away, there she is. Easy. But often you just can't find her. You can look and look, but she just isn't there. She's usually amongst a pile of bees in the bottom of the hive, on the wall of the hive, or something like that. And don't forget, this time of year, there's always a huge amount of bees. So Michael uses his shaker box method, makes a decision, and shakes the entire colony through a box that has a queen excluder fixed to the bottom of the brood box. That way you don't waste any more time and you always find her. The old, is, the old queen is dispatched with the use of the hive tool test and strangely enough she fails every time. I've used several clips of the following videos to show Michael's methods. This is the one. Look at her. Come on, dear. Come out. Come out, come out, come out, come out. <gasps> Go for honey. I take a few steps to the left. Go on now. Stubborn. Do you want me to sing from Queen to her? Yes. She Yodel. Killer queen. Oh, oh, okay.
I left that one in there. She's just emerged. That, that bee. Okay. Yeah. So look, there, look, come here. There's a bee right there. Get that out of here. Distract her a little bit. Now she's distracted. Now you can put it down. Now you move it right where you want it. So if you got any nectar in it, yeah, you got nectar right there. There you go. Put a, put an X mark mm -hmm. on it. So Cork's just marking the side of that hive. And what we killed the queen? 57. We gave her a number 57. 28 and 7. Eight. under a pushing cage here on the four days ago. Today is the 26th of July and we did it on the 22nd. We killed the old queen, found a frame of emerging brood, located the new queen under a pushing cage on top of emerging brood and nectar with no bees under it. So then the bees that emerge will be her, her bees. They've never seen a queen and they accept her immediately and she starts to lay eggs. Now, when you have a queen in a mailing cage, that's not a laying queen. And so if you try to take a queen out of a hive, a laying queen, and replace it with a non-laying queen, there's issues. So you put it under a push-in cage. She starts to lay. She becomes a laying queen again, and now the bees will accept her. So I've got, uh, I've written on the box where the cage is, so I don't have to look through the whole hive. I know it's in this box. So I'll take the top box off. Now there's a mark on the frame where that, that has the push-in cage. So I know it's on this comb and it's probably facing the center. So I'm not going to pull this comb or this comb because I don't want to rip the cage off as it, as it slides. So I'm going to take this outside comb out. Move this one over, access the comb with the cage. Oh, they're over here now. Here it is. Now I don't like this. This doesn't look good. Do you see how they're on here? See they're on here real tight and gripping? I don't I don't think I like that. I wonder if they're if they've accepted this queen. I don't see her. Oh, there she is, right there. There she is. Now I wonder what'll happen if we pull this cage off. Maybe they were just trying to cluster in there or suck honey out of that a corner, I'm not sure. I'm gonna pull that off and we're gonna see what kind of a reaction we get from the bees. Oh, where is she? Where'd she go? Did she run? Oh, there she is. She's running. There's eggs in the cells. Oh, you see, they were going after that honey. Right? There's honey right there. Those bees weren't uh, being aggressive towards her, that clump of bees on the screen. They were just trying to suck up that honey right there. So they're not going after her. They're not bawling her or anything. They're pretty much ignoring her. So I can put her back in. But that's the kind of things you look for when you pull this cage out. You know, how are the bees behaving? Let me put 
this box on top and the queens won't run down or up and they won't get lost. Oh, it's got some good weight to it. Okay, so we put a queen under a pushing cage here four days ago. So today is what, the 27th? And we put it in on what? Nope, today's the 26th. So we put it on the, in on the 22nd, so that's four days ago. There's an X on the frame. So I know that that uh, cage is on that frame. So I'll pull out, up and, and right here it says here, so I know it's in this box on that frame. So I'll pull out this, so I have some room to get the frame of the cage out without rubbing it on something when I pull it and having it get pulled off the, off the comb. <clears throat> and there's the cage down in there. So we're going to see if the queen, first off, how the bees react on the cage. If they're on the cage and they're gr are gripping on the cage and they're trying to bite and sting, but these guys are nice and loose. They're just on the cage lightly, so they've been feeding that queen. So there's the queen running around. Now I'm going to pull that cage off, but I'm not going to pull that cage off until I know she's on the comb. Because if I pull the cage off and she's on the screen and I go like that, chances are pretty good she's going to fly. So there she is. I see eggs in the comb, in the cells. And so they're not even paying attention to her. So. There, she's done. She's been accepted. And then we'll put her back in. Yep, get back up there. I don't want to put that down with her like that. I want her up in the middle someplace so she doesn't get crushed, you know? I'll put her down. Move this over. And that's it. Very rarely will you ever get a queen not accepted with a push-in cage. It gives them a chance to get laying before you get them into the general population of the bees.